hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming so in this concept we are taking a look at some of the variables which are derived in ADSL in this video we will see how to create different treatment grouping variables in a parallel group study sometimes what happens is like we will have different dose levels being tested and that we want to analyze those dose levels individually and compare it with placebo or the comparators and also combine those individual dose levels and analyze it as a single entity and compare it with the comparator or uh, the comparator can be active comparator or placebo comparator so we as per Adam standard we have certain variables which handles this concept in this video we will see what are those so regularly we have TRT01P and TRT01A which correspond to planned treatment for period 1 and actual treatment for period 1. So we have seen in the earlier videos that in a parallel group study we consider it as having one treatment period. So we have this concept of 01 and the planned treatment and also the actual treatment. Similar to these variables we have something called as planned pooled treatment for period 01 and actual pooled treatment for period 01 so if we take a look at the naming convention of the variables tr stands for treatment 01 stands for period 1 and p stands for planned and g stands for grouping g1 stands for grouping algorithm 1 so similarly tr stands for treatment 01 for period 1 a for actual g1 stands for grouping algorithm 1 so there can be more than one grouping algorithm so but if there is more than one we will increment these one at the end with the incremental number g2 g3 g4 and so on so let us take a look at the specification so for trt01p we are being asked to use dm data set get trt01p as the value present in dm dot arm variable we need to make sure that we populate it only for non-screen values and non not assigned subjects similarly for actual arm uh, actual treatment for period 01 we are being asked to use dm data set get trt 01 as the value present in dm dot actual arm variable and for this variable also we need to make sure that we are populating it only for the subjects who took a treatment and they are not screen values or not assigned subjects so and the next thing is the specification for TR01PG1. So it says using TRT01P get TR01PG1 as public TR01PG1 as CSG when TRT01P is one of the dose levels of CSG. Else if TRT01P is placebo then populate TRT TR01PG1 as placebo. This variable is used for pool dose level analysis so again for 01 ag1 so it says using trt 01a populate tr 01 ag1 as csg when trt 01a is one of the dose levels of csg else if trt 01a is placebo then populate as placebo in tr 01 ag1 let us take a look at the sample data we have and then try to populate TRT01P, TRT01A, TR01PG1, TR01AG1. So we have our arm and actual arm values given for four subjects 1001, 1002, 1003 and 1004. So we were asked to populate TRT01P using the arm values wherever it is not screen failure so we will populate it this way for trt01a we are asked to use actual arm variables and we discussed that we need to populate only for the subjects who are not screen failures and for tr01pg1 we were asked to populate it as csg when it is a dose level of 25 mg or 50 mg of csg so for these two csg 25 mg and csg 50 mg it will be csg and for the records where it is placebo we were asked to populate it as placebo and similarly for tr01 ag1 
so we are asked to populate it as placebo for the placebo subjects in trt 01 a and for the other cases where it is a dose level of csg either 25 or 50 we were asked to populate it as csg so this is how we can create our planned and actual pooled treatment group variables so let us see how to programmatically implement these so we are using our demographic data set we are populating planned and actual arm using planned treatment for period one and actual treatment for period one using arm and actual arm only on those cases where the subject is not a screen failure and then we are creating our uh, pool treatment variables which are tr01 pg1 and tr01 ag1 so we are using index to check whether the trt01 p contains csg because the possible values are csg25 mg and csg50 mg so if it contains csg it identifies both the records of 25 mg and 50 mg on those records we are populating our planned pooled treatment group variable as csg and otherwise if it contains placebo we are populating planned pool treatment group as placebo similarly we are doing the processing for actual treatments as well so this is how we can derive our planned and actual pool treatment group variables in adsl data set